Well, folks, the time has come. <laughs> Stiff upper lip, Anton. Stiff upper lip. Keep it together. Yep, as I go through and uh, decommission a bunch of my teams, this one did not make the cut. I'm retiring this little cup team. Just feel that it's run its course. Now you might be thinking, Anton, you're getting rid of this team and then you're keeping the other little cup team? What the hell is up with that? This team's way better, way cooler. And I completely agree with you. I'm not keeping that other team either. I'm getting rid of both of my little cup teams. And you're not even thinking, Antar, you're getting rid of your little cup teams. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm I'm starting, I'm going to have a new little cup team for you. And you're going to have to wait for it. But I do have another little cup team in the works. And uh, it's going to radically change how I do little cup on this channel. Anyway, looking at my opponent's team, two-thirds of the team, don't have to worry. But he has two of the three uh, big threats of little cup. Um, that would be Mistrevis and... Um, Murkrow, he doesn't have Mind Chow. Anyway, I was predicting to think that this was uh, Zoroa. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't fall for it and goes for Shadow Claw, takes out Sean, my Dark Smoke Punch, or my Ghastly on the first turn. That sucks so bad. Uh, that was a misclick, um, and that's really too bad. This is not not too, by the way. This is obviously my Zoroa. Uh, super effective hidden power fight and does not actually KO. A little bit sad about that. No idea how I outrun him, outran him this other turn. No idea what happened there. That's very, very strange because Ghastly is way faster than Zoroa. And so there's, I just have no idea what happened there. Anyway, gonna go for a hidden power fighting here because it's super effective and does slightly more than, um, Night Days. Uh, I actually, he actually told me that, uh, he didn't realize this was, uh, Zoroa. And so that's why I went for the Rock Slide. Although Rock Slide still would have probably been the better move. Oh no, if he has Waterfall, that would have been the better move there. Anyway, take him out with a uh, Night Daze. And I was like, I used Night Daze before. I was like, yeah, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. So that's now two Pokemon down, thanks to my Zoroa. Gonna go for another Hidden Power Fighting. I don't know why he's sending out all these Pokemon weak to fighting when he knows it's Hidden Power Fighting. But this one actually takes the hit a little bit better. He decides he's gonna go set up at least one layer of Toxic Spikes. That's annoying. Uh, I decided to go for the nasty plot here, thinking, well, two, you know, it should be fine because the next turn I'll just be able to take it out with one hit rather than two. He goes for the Scald, though. I was expecting him to set up more hazards. He doesn't, and takes out my uh, Zoroa, which sucks. So, really wish I'd just gone for the attacking move there. But, oh well. Uh, go for the Thunderbolt here, hope, uh, thinking to, that I'd probably take this guy out. He actually survives on uh, just a little bit of HP, almost certainly an Eviolite set. The sad thing about Little Cup is that really Eviolite is the best item on pretty much any Pokemon. I mean, yeah, you've got your Scarfers, um, but beyond that, you know, Life Orb, not that great of an item. Orinberry, only useful if your Pokemon runs sturdy. Lumberry, sometimes nice, but all in all, you probably want to be going for the Orinberry. I mean, uh, for the Eviolite. Anyway, sends out Mysterious. I go for the Scald. Uh, I don't think it's still boosted by Rain, which is too bad. Uh, here I'm, I'm thinking that I can take one more Shadow Ball and maybe take him out with a Thunderbolt. Uh, unfortunately gets a crit. And that sucks. Boo! So anyway, here I go out into Cyndaquil. I'm Scarfed. I fully expect to outspeed. And so even though I'm poisoned, it's not... Uh, my health is still pretty high. And then he outspeeds. I'm like, what just happened there? And there, oh, he's Scarfed. I'm a moron. So go for the Eruption. It's gonna do Jack. Absolutely Jack. Actually, it does kind of a lot considering it's Jack, but um, goes for another Shadow Ball and Cyndaquil was useless this battle. Very sad, and this is kind of showcasing why I'm getting rid of my two Little Cup teams. Neither of them do really do well against Murkrow or um, uh, Mistrevis, and those two Pokemon are everywhere, so I've come up with a completely new team that you'll see. Anyway, survive the Shadow Ball. I'm really glad that I did. Get off a of Shell Smash, so now I should be faster because plus two is faster than plus one. Um, you know, Shell Smash versus Scarf, and even though uh, Her Hermione is natively slower, it doesn't matter, I take him out with a Rock Slide, and so now, if his Murkrow does not have the Sucker Punch, I have won this game. Unfortunately, he does have the Sucker Punch and takes me out, and so that is a dead uh, Dwebble, and now I'm down to my last Pokemon, which is completely useless. I really should have sent it out earlier to actually, you know, set up, um, the screens, but I didn't think to, and now I've lost Neela, and that is the end of the match. So, so sad. So, so sad. I wish I'd been able to give this team a final win, but, um, I mean, this this battle did kind of get across what I wanted to say, so I thought it was worthwhile. A uh, great game, Shizzy14. 
Um, folks, uh, stay tuned for um, the little finale that I do, or the little uh, farewell sal uh, salute tribute thing that I do uh, in battles such as these. So long. <laughs>